everybody. A little bit of a uh, quick talk on a Bowie knife today. Typically, we see Bowie knives held in a edge forward orientation. Now, this is really good, uh, especially for dueling styles of Bowie knife fighting. However, a more common way of using the knife was with the edge facing in. Now, why is this important? This seems kind of odd for a lot of people, but we're gonna use our target that's hung up over here on the tree and we're gonna go into it, uh, give you an idea, give you a taste. One of the first things you need to understand about a uh, Bowie knife is its ability to snap cut. That's simply popping the knife so that the edge is hitting the target and it's, it's very much like you're whipping that knife forward, boom, and you're getting these hard impact tip cuts. Like for you Filipino martial artists out there, doing a, a quick strike with the very tip of the stick, that's what we're doing. Now, when you've got the clip point on a Bowie and you turn it around, this becomes a very devastating tool and doesn't require a lot of power to penetrate your target. So you've got the ability of a snap cut and you're driving that point in, almost like the point on a tomahawk or, or, or something like that. Or, or even, uh, from my understandings, with a kukri, the way a kukri is shaped, that drop drives that tip in. Now, using this target here, with uh, we're just going to be targeting the hand. But it doesn't really matter where you're targeting. But in this case, we're just going for the hand and... Uh, you know, ignore the fact that there's a Kali stuck in here. Uh, I was doing FMA earlier, so this is what uh, me and my students were working against. However, let's talk about that tip cut, that snap cut with the back edge of the bowie. So from a guard position, you're sniping out at your target. You're able to hit it at whatever angle you need and this is great for closing distance. So what you might happen is the weapon's being presented at you, you snap cut, you move in tight, thrust, and now you've got the edge pointed at you and you can use all your big strong muscles and all of that stuff to yank that out of your target and completely disembowel it. So think about the advantages of using a weapon like this in this shape. The other thing that it gives you the ability to do is instead of blocking edge on edge or worrying about semi-edge blocking where you're turning the blade a little bit, I'm going to uh, I'm going to bring this camera forward a little bit so we can get a little closer. There we go. So instead of blocking where I'm going edge on edge and I'm worried about a bind or something like that, when the knife is in the reverse grip, I can block with the heavy, strong part of the blade and not damage my edge so that I can cut. And you know, when you think about the time period where these came from, long sabers, other heavy knives, that kind of thing, that's a definite consideration. Um, also, just a solid smack on the arm with the blunt edge of a piece of steel that weighs about a pound is going to cause somebody a lot of pain. So you can hit him there. You can hit him with that tip. You can come over and cut. You can thrust and rip. You can snap cut. All of that's possible when the knife's in this orientation, not this orientation. Something to think about. Y'all take care.